So first you need to log into BrainShark and you need to create a BrainShark account. Once you have done that, you can um, click on upload content. You need to make sure your PowerPoint has already been created. Once your PowerPoint is ready, you can just find your file and then upload it. Then you just need to wait for it to be uploaded. You don't need to have the uh, video recordings already done through PowerPoint. It's actually easier if you just do it through BrainShark. So I would wait to add your narration after this step. All right, so our file has been uploaded, so I'm going to click Next. And now we're ready to record uh, any audio that you want to add. <clears throat> click Allow when this comes up. You might want to make sure that your mic volume is up. Uh, you can go slide by slide when you're recording the audio. So right now I'm on slide one, so I'm just going to record audio for slide one. I click record, it counts down. Once it counts down, I can start talking and it's recording my voice right now. So if I liked that, I can hit stop. If I liked that one, I can save it or I can discard. So let's say I didn't like that, maybe I messed up. So it didn't save it, I'm gonna record again. This is how you make brain shark videos. All right, so if that was my recording I liked, I click Save. It uploads it. It shows me I took four seconds for that audio, and then it moved it on to the next slide. So I can record this next slide. For more information on flipped classrooms, check out the book Flip Your Classroom by Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams. All right, so that's all my audio. I'm going to end recording session next. Make sure that all of these have uploaded and that you can actually see the time signals. Sometimes it takes a little while if you've talked a lot on a slide. So I'm done. They're not spinning anymore. So I'm going to hit end recording session. And so here's my video in BrainShark. But I want to put this up on YouTube. So I'm going to go to edit presentation and I would suggest don't do this next step. So once you've recorded your audio, you need to wait about four times the length of your video. So if your video is 10 minutes long, otherwise there's some weird things that happen. Files don't get uploaded all the way or audio doesn't work. So I would wait. But for the sake of this video, I'll show you what you're going to do. So let's say my video is it's four seconds long, so hopefully I'm ready. It's been four times that amount, so I'm going to go to Edit Presentation. So you'll see here that it's still converting, so I still need to wait a little while before I can publish to YouTube. You need to click Presentation is Active, though. That's the next step. And then you're going to save or apply. It doesn't matter which one it'll take me back to this screen. So I need to wait until this goes away. And I think I have, I did a video earlier that I can show you. My content is where all your videos are listed. So I did this video a little earlier. Let's see if it's done converting and ready to go to YouTube. Ah, here we go. So see how that converting to YouTube or converting is gone. I'm ready to publish to YouTube. So I just click publish to YouTube. I click OK. And then it takes a little while for it to be published to YouTube. Sometimes it could be half an hour, sometimes it could be a couple hours. So I will check back here and there will be a link. Let me show you one of my other videos that has already been uploaded to YouTube. So see now, this video I did a while ago, I click get the YouTube link. Here's the link. If I click on it, 
it will take me to my video on YouTube. Make sure you also already have a YouTube account. Let's learn about different types of genres. And that's how you make a video with BrainShark. Hopefully that helped.